to talk about healthy food because we're talking about healthy food all week long today. And I have a book called Two for Stew. It's written by Laura Numeroff and Barney Salzberg. It's illustrated by Salvador Murdaco. That means he's the one that drew the pictures in the book. Do any of you like to eat stew? Mm -hmm. I love to eat stew. We made stew last night I'm at my house. Sit over there. We put a lot of we put meat in it, and we put vegetables in it, and we put beef broth in it. It looks delicious. <coughs> this is called Two for Stew. Table, a table for two. Can everybody show me two fingers? Two. One, two. Good and job. Nice. Two. Well, I'm gonna close this. I'll bring you a menu in a minute or two. Oh. No uh, need to bother. Need the two. Yep, we came for the stew. There is no more stew, I'm sorry to say. We do have some noodles. Will that be okay? Do you like noodles? I like noodles. I like noodles too. They like noodles. I like I noodles too. too. Um, the dog human. Yep. We, thank you kind sir. We never touch noodles. They're messy to eat and not fit for poodles. That poodle's eating up all the noodles, isn't he? I mean the dog. That's messy. Yeah. I think you'd enjoy our ham nuggets and peas. Uh, oh no, thank you sir. Two bowls of stew, please. There's so many. Yeah, Look oh through God. the menu. Will so something else bowls. do? But we've had our hearts set on your world famous stew. There's nothing quite like it. It's chunky yet creamy. It tickles our taste buds. It's ever so dreamy. I'm really quite sorry. We're all out of stew. A busload of tourists from Spain just came through. Tourists means that they're visitors. They ate every drop. Oh, what could I do? Had I known you were coming, I would have saved some for you. The special tonight is a wonderful dish. Oh, please won't you try? Our gravy and fish. Fish makes me seasick and gives me a rash. The last batch we had went right in the trash. Can't your chef make some? Oh, please don't say no. We must taste your stew. One bite and we'll go. The chef's not the one who makes it, you see. My grandmother does from an old recipe. That's why it's so great. We just never knew. Can we go to your house? and ask for some stew? I guess we can go. My bike's right outside. Hop in, grab a helmet. I'll give you a ride. I've never brought guests to grandma's before. Won't she be surprised when she opens the door? She's a wonderful cook. My, she bakes a mean strudel. Maybe she'll make some for me. And my poodle. Uh-oh, there goes Grandma in that car at the light. I forgot that it's Tuesday, her big bowling night. You can't mean it bowling. Then it's no stew for us. I've been trying to tell you, but you made such a fuss. Well, there's one more thing, one thing we can do. Follow that, that grandma. It's bowling for two. Okay, now we're gonna do some art. You guys can do art today during free time. And I have a piece of paper. You need a piece of construction paper. And I made a pot out of construction paper. I used my scissors and I cut it out. And I'm gonna take my glue. And I am going to glue my pot to my paper. And then I got a magazine and I cut out some foods that I'm going to put in my stew. This is my stew pot and I'm going to put some food in my stew. I have some green beans and some carrots and some meat. I'm going to glue that and put that in my stew. 
and I have some peppers and some um, tomatoes and some broccoli. I'm going to put that in my soup. And then I have some beets and some cabbage and some eggplant. I'm going to put that in my soup. And then I have some chicken and some red peppers and some green peppers and some olives. I'm going to put that in my soup. That's a lot of that's a lot of, you know what, that's a lot of healthy foods. Healthy food. What would you put in your stew if you were having stew? You didn't have to. I know, but if you were going to have stew, what would you put in it? Um, pizza. Pizza, you would put, you have pizza stew? <laughs> that's a good idea. What would you put in your stew? Pizza. Pizza? You'd have pizza stew also? What would you put in your stew? Um, oranges. You, oranges. We're going to have some orange and pizza stew. Oranges and apples. Oh, oranges, apples, and pizza stew. What would you put in your stew? Um, pizza stew. Pizza. You're going to put pizza too. What would you put in your stew? Would I like pizza? Um, orange. You, you put some pizza? oranges in your stew, so we're going to have orange, <laughs> apple, pizza stew. What would you put in your stew? Um, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Or we're going to say have some orange, apple, pizza, tomato stew. What would you put Ew. in your stew? Popcorn. Popcorn. We're going to have some orange, popcorn, yeah. apples, popcorn, popcorn. pizza, Tomato stew. What would you put in your stew? You don't want to tell me today. That's okay. What would you put in your stew? Um, yogurt. Yogurt. So we're going to have some orange, apple, pizza, yogurt, popcorn, tomato stew. Did I leave anything out? No, me want a tomato. Good. Be careful with that book. Bye. Um, thank you for joining us.